All right, let's take a look at electricity and magnetism. So in this video, um, we will go over simple circuit, um, the difference between transformers and generators, also conductors and semiconductors, and then you're going to have to be familiar with basic differences between a volt, a watt, and ohm, OHM ohm. Um, let's see, so we've got four questions. Simple circuit composed of three items. Yep, we need to know simple circuits. So we just said electrical device is essential for the transformation. What electrical device? Uh, essential for transmission of alternating current, right? So we want to know the difference between alternating and direct current. Uh, good example of a conductor. Um, <clears throat> explain the difference between direct current and alternating current. Okay, a couple current questions. Okay, so let's get started. A simple circuit is composed of a battery, a device such as a light bulb, and conducting wires as well as an on-off switch. Okay, so right there, right off the bat, sim that first bullet point, simple circuit is composed of three items. Battery, device such as a light bulb, and conducting wires. Really, there's four because you've got to have your on-off switch, um, but those would be the three that uh, you would be asked about. Um, current can be uh, direct, which sometimes is just referred to as DC, direct current, um, where it moves only in one direction. It may also be alternating, which typically would be referred to as AC, in which it reverses direction at a certain frequency. Okay, so that's the difference between direct and alternating current. That was one of our questions. You're going to have to be familiar with that. Very common uh, that you're asked about the differences between direct and alternating current. And in magnets, opposite poles attract and like poles repel each other. <clears throat> okay, so transformers and generators. A transformer is an electrical device that travel, transfers electrical in, energy between two or more circuits through electromagnetic induction. A varying current in one coil of the transformer produces a varying magnetic field, which in turn induces a voltage in a second coil. Power can be transferred between the two coils through the magnetic field. Transformers are essential for the transmission, distribution, and utilization of alternating current. Okay, so that was a lot to take in right there. A generator converts mechanical energy into electrical ener energy, while a motor does the opposite. It converts electrical energy into mechanical en energy. Both devices work because of electromagnetic induction, which is when a voltage is induced by a changing magnetic field. So with the generator right there, what we wanted to hear was that a generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. <clears throat> okay, with conductors and semiconductors, conductors allow electrons to move freely. Most metals, like iron and gold, are good conductors, right? And you do tend to get a lot of example type questions here. So remembering that metals are good conductors and especially iron and gold. A semiconductor material has an elect electrical conductivity value following between that of a conductor, such as copper, and an insulator, such as glass. Their resistance decreases as their temperature increases which is behavior opposite to that of a metal. Silicon is widely used in electronic devices, hence the name Silicon Valley, which is the Bay Area uh, that has a lot of technology companies. And then finally we have volt, watt, and ohm. Uh, the volt is the derived unit for electric potential. One volt is defined as the difference in electric potential between two points of a conducting wire. The watt is a unit of electrical power. The ohm is a unit of electrical resistance. All right, so what would be a typical question there? Uh, what is the derived unit for electric potential? And then answer choices like volt, like volt watt, ohm, uh, you know, and then probably one other. That would be very common. <clears throat> okay, and then we jump back into our questions. Um, right, so we covered all of these. Um, 
what are the three things necessary for the simple circuit? That was the very first thing we talked about. Um, what electrical device is essential for the transmission of alternating current? Um, conductor example. Um, explain the difference between DC and AC. Okay, so at this point, good thing to do would be just to pause the video, see if you can answer these questions. And if you can't, uh, definitely it's worth your time to go back into the video, figure out the answer. This is how we encode information into our brains so it's ready for us uh, when we take the exam.